It's just not possible. You see, we have to post ban for three Sundays. It's more than that. You're not Catholic, are you? No, I'm not. Have you been married before? Yes, I, I have. And did this marriage end in divorce? Just one of them. You see, without even dealing with this one, the marriage is impossible. Why do you want to be married here? It really does not matter. Mother, please, if you wouldn't mind. I'm sorry. Well? Well, Father, my mother's here. And Melinda's grandfather's nearby. And it's so beautiful, the garden. Do you love him? Very much. Father, this is all very nice sounding. But the fact is, this is not possible. Would you excuse us, Mother? I don't think you understand. I think I do. Please, go in peace. I don't think she wants me here, Father, much less get married in the convent. It has to do with my past. You see, I was studying to be a priest. Well, there are two issues here. One is getting married. The other is getting married in the Catholic Church. And Melinda, do you know what it means to be married in the Catholic Church? It means a lot more than it's a beautiful garden. It's a big step. And I don't think you've thought about it. Well, I understand. Um, thank you for talking with us. Come on. Wait. I see that you two really do love each other. And I can't help you getting married in the church, but I think I can help you get married. What? Melinda, the garden is beautiful. And as far as I know, it's non-sectarian. Let's see what we can work out. Uh, Maybe a, a judge or justice of the peace. Thank you so much, Father. <clears throat> Will? Yeah. May I speak with you alone for a few minutes? Belinda, would you excuse us? Oh, sure. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Then ask Mr. Whitehall to get right back to me. Yes, beep him. I said it was important. Really, dear, you shouldn't sulk. Who the hell do you think you are? I know exactly who Threatening I am. Threatening me? Don't you forget what I have on you. Oh, yes. But there's one thing about threats and secrets. It's a two-way street. Now, you tell that I know about Mara's true paternity, and it comes out that you knew also. Hmm? Right now, you don't want to let people know that you're keeping secrets from your husband, huh? Wouldn't look nice to him, nor to the board of directors, if you should survive him. Maybe they wouldn't let you take over the reins at Lewis Oil while he's off making license plates. You can't send to me. Have I hurt your feelings? I thought I could talk to you, and I thought that you understood. Oh, yes. With the lives we lead, you see, talking and understanding, those are luxuries. Well, I guess I don't really know you at all. And I'm learning so much more about you every day. For example, your skill for histrionics. What's that? It's a compelling little drama starring a young lady with obvious talent, very obvious. I think it's called Bonita Solita. Josh, 
Rusty, what can we do for yeah, you? Uh, we're looking for Dr. Linden. Is there any way we can get a page? Sure. 